Okay. No, it's not, Teresa. It's not that hard. <laughs> what do you got, Teresa? Mike, Good job, Ashley. Thank you. Back there laughing at my jokes. Mike, for Will making his debut to, to, to play the way he did, even with the, the, the small rotation with Malik, how do you like how he performed? And four touchdowns, not a bad sure. debut. No, not a bad debut. Uh, got some great efforts from... Um, you know, from receivers, you know, I thought Hop really got us off and going, and, and we had talked about that being a key of making sure that, you know, we're able to beat press coverage and winning on the outside, and, you know, they let them play. And, you know, we have to understand that, and uh, I think that kind of got us going, uh, hit some other shots down the field, and, you know, so not only did, did Will get some good help, I thought that the, uh, you know, the opportunities to move the ball downfield were there, and we, and we hit them. How would you like how you did from maybe a poised decision-making Oh, good. You know, I mean, even, you know, unfortunately, we, we made a call there on third and four at the end of the game and thought we'd try to catch them being a little bit more aggressive than what they were uh, and just told them, hey, we have to, uh, if it's not there, you know, we just have to get down. We try to try to bootleg there and um, what wasn't wasn't there. And so he didn't throw the ball away. Uh, I thought the one decision probably could have been better uh, with with the, the throwing it away to Chig. Uh, but then the other one, throwing it away to Derek, I thought was 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 good and, and saved us some yardage. Even with all the practice and reps and film and everything, how much can, how much do you learn about someone at that position that you can only learn? In a you game? can only learn it out there, and, and, and not even in preseason. But you know that football game with a good defense, like that defense, had been playing pretty pretty darn well the last couple weeks. They've got a, a good scheme. They're well coached, and they've got good players. They've got good corners. They've Backers are smart, active. Safeties are all over the place, and then and then obviously the front. So, I thought the pressure. I thought we held up. I thought the protection held up, uh, which was great. And we ran the football. Sorry. Did you play, did you the yeah, we did. And then obviously, unfortunately, you know, we just bad snap. Got to catch the ball, get on it. Like any one of those three things have to happen. So, just stayed away from it. Were you happy with his effort? Cover that ball? Or we just have, I, I gotta don't, I, I'm not gonna comment on his effort other than to say that we wanna make sure that we just recover it instead of picking the ball up. So I, I, I didn't have the same view you had, Paul, uh, but we wanna make sure that we just get on the ball and, and recover it. When you have a rookie like that at quarterback, he's able to use those shoulder picks and things to move the defense the way he did. How impressive is that? Well, it's not like he hasn't played quarterback before. He's played, you know, had, had some really good snaps and you know in college and stuff that we saw uh, early on you know that he was able to use to, to his disposal um, so it's just you know making sure that we're you know good with the football and and, and being smart and, and taking the chances and taking the matchups and you know putting the ball out front you know I thought that early on to trailing which is kind of what we wanted to try to do thought that was a well-placed ball I thought that that was a Probably maybe even a better play by the defense to, to be able to get over there. But, you know, even even that ball that was incomplete, um, you know, I thought there was good placement on the deep balls. How impressed were you with the defense today? I'm sorry? How impressed were you with the defense? At, at times, very impressed. And then at other times, probably not as impressed as, you know, we, we need to be. You know, I think that there was, there was moments where it was, like, really close to, to being exactly what we want. Uh, we got leaky in some runs. Uh, gave up some some play actions, you know, had the had the X play, uh, then the drive before there, you know, kind of went down, and we just never could make a play, you know, when we needed to, and you know, a mistake here, a mistake there, a, a long third down conversion, you know. So again, there there's moments where it's like, okay, that, that's who we are, uh, and that's that's what we expect, and then there's other moments where. And I'm not sure where the you know, where the breakdown is. What does that do, Mike, going forward from from Will for a team that you know had a tough start, watched sure. the quarterback get hurt? Uh, I, anytime we can win, anytime that we can have our players go and make plays, whether that's Harold, whether that's Jeff, whether that's Will, whether that's Derek, whether that's Tajay, um, Nick Westbrook, like this is what pro football is. It's it's about the players knowing what to do going out there and executing and making plays. And if they don't make one, that they stay in it and they come back and they make one later uh, to help their team win. And they don't do with the team. Uh, they, they know what to do and, and they go out there and they perform. That, that's, there's nothing else to pro football. Maybe a few situations here and there, but there, there's nothing else. Like, just look around the league, fellas. Make sure they know what to do and make sure that they're playing with effort and they go out and you gotta make plays. And then when they make plays, we win. 
And that's, that's what happened. In terms of building off it? I, I think you can build off a win. Now we got to recover. We got to get back. Uh, we got to get going on a road to Pittsburgh. We know how hard that is to, to win at night on a short week. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited that we won. I'm excited that you know, we were able to throw some passing touchdowns. We ran the football. And we got some turnovers that we had talked about. You know, we just got to eliminate some of the, the, some of the other mistakes. How much head confidence you had with, I guess, with Levis and Hopkins to not have that many practice reps to be connected like they were three times? Well, I mean, it's, it's match coverage. It's one-on-one. -on -one and, you know, I, I would, you know, I don't blame uh, Will for going to him. I, I thought the red zone was really well executed, that play. That was something that we liked. I thought that that was a well-timed call but even better executed, obviously, by, by Will and, and Hop and, and Chig had a large part to do with that, um, uh, the timing of it. Did you see his confidence growing throughout the course of the game, Mike? Mm, I don't think it ever wavered. I think that, you know, it, it was, you know, strong throughout. And, you know, there'll be a lot of things that we can improve on. And, and you know, but even just, you know, getting us in operationally. You know, I was kind of taking a peek at the clock. And, you know, I've got to make a decision whether I'm going to, you know, call timeout or trust the quarterback to to get that snap before, you know, zero and, and then the ball doesn't move. Like, we know what the rules are. So, um, I, I thought that was good. You know, it could have been, you know, a better, but, you know, just operationally it was good. How much, you guys up front? How, how much did you like the way they were to get home and even get a, a strip sack? Huge, huge. And, uh, you know, again, we, we've talked about this. You know, I mean, we've, we've put resources uh, into that front. And so that's, you know, that's that's what has to happen for us to to win. They don't they know that right? That's no that's not a secret. Right? Those guys have to affect the quarterback. And we said when you hit the quarterback, you know, bad things happen for for that the team. Right? The ball comes out, throws an interception, you know, or, or sometimes they, they get hurt. So we have to make sure that those guys continue to affect the game. And uh, you know, like we told them, you know, touchdowns come in bunches, like Hops did today, and. Sometimes so do sacks. The sneaks with assistance give you an added element there? Well, it gave us a first down. You know, gave us a first down, uh, two of them. And so, uh, you know, again, something that been a strength of Wills and something that was there and, and open to us. So we, we took advantage of it. What was going on with him like? Did you have any doubt he was coming back in when he went to the tent? Uh, just, just working with Todd and, and his staff and making sure that there was, you know, that he was properly hydrated. Well, it was a big, uh, you know, there's, more hydration. yeah, more hydration issue, you know, just nerves, a sweat, you know, a big sweater. <laughs> he is, you guys watched him all training camp. Mike, how was his demeanor his first start on the sideline inside the Good. Good, I mean, but things were kind of, you know, going well, right? So, you know, we, we, you got to find out about who we are when, when we get punched. And we had been punched again and went across to London and had to sit on that for however long we sat on it. And so proud of the football team. And, and these guys, they, they, they know what it's supposed to look like. And so even we won, you know, there's some guys that, you know, may be disappointed um, because they want to do well and they don't want to, um, you know, they just, they want to do really well. And, I'm, and I just keep telling them, like, this was a big win for us, right? This important win at this point in the season. Will took quite a few shots down the field. Was that something that you guys identified as a strength of his and planned for, or was that just situationally how things worked out today? Well, I mean, he's got a strong arm. I think anybody that would have played quarterback today, we would have tried to, you know, move the ball. When we've had success offensively, we've been able to, to one, throw those, be able to hold up in protection, and, and two, be able to, to hit them. And so that was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, th there was a couple times where, you know, they got us, but when we needed it, felt like it was there. It was really there, and you know, give them credit. And you know, Dre kicked in there at left, and Nick went over to right, and you know, just like we told Nick, like at some point in time, we're, we're going to need everybody. And this thing comes around. I don't know when. I, I I can't tell you. I wish I could, but it's a long season, and everybody on the roster needs to be ready to go. Uh, whether that's Eric Garrar, whether that's you know, Dre, or, you know, that's how this thing happens. How much does Stonehouse impact the game, especially first half? Again, Stoney has got, he can flip the field. I mean, he kicks a 70-yarder, 
and, and I'm over there talking about, man, I wish it would stop right on a, on a dime at the five yard line. And then you realize it's a 51 yard net putt or whatever it is. So, you know, he's getting better at directionally kicking them. You know, we have to continue to cover them, uh, get out in coverage, cast the net. But, um, you know, I felt like those guys, Nick, I'm, I'm very comfortable with, with Nick going out there and, and kicking for us and, and Stoney being able to, to manage the, the plus 50 punts and then also, you know, flip the field when we need to. Was he satisfied with the way the fourth and three was sorted out with the official going down and them sorting out the spot without you having the challenge? What would you think of the P.I. that offset your advantage? I thought the P.I., well, again, the explanation I got, which should be in the report, was the P.I. was on the player that Hop was lined up on, which, again, I see your facial expressions, the kind of odd explanation. So I'll be curious if that is in the how they see it again tomorrow. Um, but that was what was told to me. I was fairly confident that uh, we had gotten the the first down. Not that you know. I mean, I guess when you get hit and fall down, you have two choices: first down or short of the line to gain. Uh, they probably went with short, knowing that then it would be challenged. Right? It's automatically reviewed. I, I couldn't challenge because it's automatically reviewed once it's a fourth down is short. So I was out of I, I was out of it other than to ask an explanation on the OPI, which he mentioned was, was on Hopkins, on the receiver over top of him for, for driving, uh, not on the guy that was chasing from 10 yards away. First game without, without Kevin, Mike, how did you guys do communications-wise and, and, and performance in the, in the back secondary? Uh, I mean, I have to performance-wise is, you know, when we bat him down or we cover him, it's good. and. You know, sometimes in zone coverage, you know, whether that's linebackers or guys being where they're supposed to be, he tried us on a couple double moves. I thought we were good. Um, yeah, I give credit to Terrell. Terrell Edmonds showed up here on a short week and, you know, played. And, and there's a lot of things that we try to do, and that'll have to be better. You know, that, that communication, and it'll have to be better and going fast and seeing where guys are. And, you know, if they're in this, we want to play this. And, you know. So there, it was go good at times, and then it can be better. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. People weren't interested in you in a free agency. Do you think that you maybe answered them back today, shut them up? No, nah, you know, um, I really don't care about too much, uh, you know, what goes on outside of what I can control. Um, you know, I trust God. Trust God my whole life. Uh, for me to be in the NFL playing football, you know, I'm, I'm thankful. So, you know, I really don't care about what goes on. Uh, I'm grateful to be here. Uh, so, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm, you know, I'm playing football today. He was the third rookie quarterback ever to throw four touchdowns in his first start. What did you see from him in terms of poise and, and readiness and getting you the ball? Uh, you you got to thank Tim Kelly and those guys, the whole offensive staff, of getting him ready, uh, getting him prepared for today. Obviously, he's a very talented quarterback, confident. Uh, he plays the game like he's been here before. But, uh, you know, Tim Kelly and those guys did a great job of getting him prepared today. The chemistry, like a, that, you, a the chemistry that you two had today, was that something you've seen before at practice or was that really took, taken up a notch today in the game? Uh, you know, we really haven't had much practice reps, obviously. Um, you know, I'm not the only receiver that, that's out there at practice. He has to spread the ball around. But we obviously knew he could do what he did today. And that's how he practices. That's how he approaches the game. Feel a day like this was a kind of a breakthrough game for you was coming and uh, and great that Will Huss Commons just to throw it up to you to go get it. Uh, kind of receiver I am. I always want the quarterback to trust me, no matter if the DBs uh, on me. You know, look like I'm covered, and that's what he did today, and that's what we talked about. We knew we were going to go out there and make those plays, and he felt confident in me, trusted me, and obviously, um, you know, just being there for my quarterback, especially first time starter. That helps build his confidence, uh, but not only me, Nick Westbrook as well. And offensive line, you got to thank them as, for blocking for us. What does it do for this team right now, getting back in the win column, knowing you're going to be going and having three straight on the road in terms of just the mentality of this team? So we, we're trying to you know, stack wins together right now. we got a good team coming up uh, that we're going against. The Steelers, not sure the outcome today, but those guys are a good football team. And that's what we're focused on, trying to stack wins and take it game for game. But obviously, a win like today helps. Uh, but it's a quick turnaround. How good was it to be able to, I guess, put everything behind you with the, the whole quarterback situation, the buyer trade, and come out with a win today? That's why, you know, that's why we're here, man. We're NFL players. That's part of the business. 
you can't look at you know things that you can't control. You go out and, and handle your job, and that's what we everybody did today. Our special teams, offense and defense, and you know we control what we could control. You agree your touchdowns where, whereas Levis he kind of shoulder and, and move the defender. Mm -hmm. Is that something advanced for a rookie, or is that just something you kind of expect from a rookie quarterback? Uh, you know, college. I think you know they, they definitely throw the football more than they, than than they did when I was playing. So. I feel like you get quarterbacks that are ready, you know, like like today, and Will showed that. But obviously, Will practices, you know, those movements that you guys seen. That's how he practices. He approaches every every practice rep like a game rep, and you know, he he demands the same from us did, receivers. Did you give him the the, the touchdown, the, the ball from the touchdown yourself, or did someone else give it to you? No, I gave it to him. Okay. You know, I've been playing. Uh, he was pumped. You know, obviously he was pumped. Didn't say too much, uh, but you know, told him let's let's go get some more. Lobbying, I guess, on the, the OPI they called, uh, I guess that was in the third. Oh, that was a terrible call. Uh, that was a terrible call. You know, I mean, you know, those I, I respect those refs, but that was that was one that I, I've never had called on me in 11 years. Um, and, you know, he said, basically, you know, I, I pushed the guy when I'm trying to release and he's pressing me. So, you know, I don't know what else I can do right there, but, you know, put my hands behind my back and just let him, you know, control me. So you see, there was a lot of talk about what you were looking for in a suitor through eight weeks in Tennessee. How would you evaluate this landing spot based on what you were looking for? Uh, I was just looking for somebody who wanted me, and that's what I got. What can you say, DeAndre, that uh, oh, uh, Levis' passing arm in particular, the strength that you saw, not just like five-yard touchdown passes, but 30, 40, 60? Uh, we, you know, we seen that in practice. We seen that even when he was on scout team, letting it, you know, letting it rip to the Mason, you know, and other guys that, that aren't on the fifth three man roster. So we always knew Will had an arm like that. You know, it's just us to come down with the ball and keep running. What was the touchdown celebration you do? Uh, um, you know, it's it's kind of a yoga pose. Been doing it for a long time. Tree. Yep. You know. You played with a lot of different <laughs> quarterbacks in your career, and like done well like with different guys shuffling in having chemistry with them how difficult and cool is that for a rookie first start haven't played a ton of snaps to you know go off like you guys did uh, you know I love the challenge you know a lot of a lot of receivers obviously you know that's not ideal for them to, to play with a you know rookie quarterback especially you know at this age but for me I love it you know it's a challenge and you know obviously it's something that I feel like you know I came here for whatever you know, was up, you know, who's ever a quarterback. And uh, I've been playing football for a long time, man. So just, you know, talking to, to them throughout the week, letting them be comfortable and, uh, you know, not really being in his ear and telling him to, you know, give me the ball or do this and that, but just letting him read it and, uh, you know, make the right decisions. And that's what he did today. You've had a lot of must wins in week eight, but how much of this team need to win this game to kind of change the conversation, the track of the season? Uh, you know, a win helps. When it helps, man, especially with this division being the way it is right now. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough division. Jacksonville's playing good football on the coast as well. So, you know, we're, we're just trying to stack wins. When you have a last one ball, a jump ball down the sideline, like a first touchdown, is there anything going through your head or is it kind of muscle memory at this point in those situations? Uh, just catch the ball and, you know, try to stay in bounds, especially against a physical DB uh, like, you know, today. Just, you know, trying to come down with the ball and build confidence for, for the quarterback. And, uh, you know, for the, for the Titans fans, you know, us in the locker room, we, we don't appreciate the boos for Malik. You know, that's, that's very unfair. You know, uh, he's, he's on his team and, you know, he's part of us, you know, when what we do. So, you know, just definitely it's, you know, not something I expected coming here, you know, and I don't think that's very fair uh, for Malik. What did you say? Did you have to say anything to him? Did I say anything to him? Uh, I mean, I said some things I probably couldn't say right here, but, you know, I definitely said some things to him. Uh, like I've been saying, just this it's the game I love, and there's nothing better than winning a football game. And uh, Coach Frey was saying, you know, we made it a little harder than we needed to, but we got the win. That's all that matters, and got to get ready for this short week against Pittsburgh. What was your, what was your nerve level coming in, Will? And, and uh, you know, any, any anxiety? And, and if so, did it go away? I was up and down all the last couple of weeks. I think there were certain days where I was kind of, you know, feeling the butterflies a little bit. But really just, you know, confidence and just keeping that neutral, uh, just, you know, headspace on everything. And I didn't really have any of those feelings today. So that was good. I've been 
while since you played. How did how, you manage to maybe get into that kind of Yeah, I was telling Travis in our locker room, I was like, I think you're the last person to hit me <laughs> since we brought you over from Chicago. But, um, yeah, I mean, just playing quarterback, obviously season through season, you're going that long amount of time without getting hit. But, I mean, it, it's football. I'm used to it, obviously, playing as long as I have. And uh, it's good to be able to play the full game. How big with DeAndre Hopkins, how, how big was that for you and, and what was going on there? It was good. I mean, we just, I was just trusting what I saw. And uh, we, we, we knew that we might have some opportunities to go over the top on them. And we weren't necessarily going to force it, but just wanted to uh, make sure I was right, making the right decision. And he was obviously doing a good job of getting open. How much did your confidence grow throughout the course of the game as you started to have success in the team moving the I mean, I, I was confident all game. I was really just taking it one play at a time. I mean, just all the other guys doing their jobs was giving me confidence and knowing that everyone, uh, for the most part, was their head was, head was in the right spot and we were, we were clicking them all 11 of 11. Uh, so just was trying to take it one play at a time. You know, it was kind of at a crossroads, this. Will, and really kind of needed, needed a spark and something, something to build on. How pleased are you to kind of to be the guy to come in and, and, and offer that and now something maybe to build on going forward? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just one of 11. I mean, uh, there's a lot of guys that did their jobs today that – uh, won us that game. I mean, seven being one of them, Malik. Uh, really, uh, that's a, that left a sour taste in all of our mouths when we were hearing those boos when he was coming on the field. And uh, we got to know that he's going to be a big part of us going forward to win games. So uh, let's just come correct next time as fans and, and treat him correctly. Brent Hill mentioned that you usually go to the offensive line dinner each week, but you missed it this week. And he said you were probably studying up. How much did your preparation factor in your confidence today? I, it, was, it wasn't that. My sister was in town, so I, I was out to dinner with her. Uh, but I definitely was uh, you know, studying a little bit extra than, than usual. Um, but I think how I approached things beforehand, before I even started in the kind of the regimented schedule I had, uh, I didn't really tweak much. So what I did before just helped me prepare for Wilson, this moment. The offensive line, to go deep as often as you did, and you obviously hit several but <coughs> close on others, they gave you time to throw. And then uh, did you feel that you had all the time you needed back there when you had to? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely, uh, at times, you know, we, we, we felt a little pressure, but they kept me clean. Uh, I think I really only got sacked once, and I don't know if that other one was a sack, but, uh, and I gave myself up on that one, but it, they did a great job. I got to give props to all those dudes up front, and they, they played a heck of a game and, um, you know, did their jobs, and that's all we can ask for. Play across the field like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we were just doing something off of a traditional kind of boot that you see a lot of teams do, and you give, you know, a good head fake to that safety, get him to lean. Came back across. Um, we did, we was kind of was kind of lower in the red zone. We knew I had to get it up and down a little bit, or at least pull him across the field more. Um, so it was nice. I mean, there's no better feeling than laying on your back and seeing the touchdown go up. Uh, no, that wasn't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just made the throw that I needed to throw, or that I needed to. Did we get out of gas at the end? I mean, no, it was weird because like it's not like I was really doing anything too strenuous. Like I've worked a lot harder, you know, and you know, strained myself more at practice and stuff. But uh, just had something I needed to take care of, and it wasn't really necessary. But I knew that it was going to help me, so I just, just got the IV to handle it. Well, you always hope for hope and dream for an NFL debut like this, but but do you even find yourself you know, look back at the numbers and so forth going wow? I I mean this is this is a dream come true for sure, but I mean we have what what, what time is it right now? Yeah, I got 12 minutes to celebrate it before we're on to Pittsburgh, as as Vrabel said. So, um, but I mean, like you said, I've been dreaming of this moment as a kid my entire life, even just to touch the field in an NFL game, let alone get a win. Um, is incredible. I think they gave you the keys to the offense quite a bit today, you know, maybe more so than somebody making their first start. How, how many times would you say that you, you checked out of a play and, and went, had to go to something different and it worked out? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I was just going off my rules and what was uh, asked of me at the position. Uh, I think that I got to thank Coach Kelly and Coach London for preparing me these last couple of weeks. I thought the game plan was, you know, um, just really fitting for what we were going against and for it being my first start and everything. So, I mean, we have multiple ways we can open up the playbook, and we showed some of that today. Uh, but, I mean, props to them for putting me in a position to succeed today. Could the early throw to Burks that didn't hit have been maybe your best throw of the game or one of them? Uh, it felt good. I mean, I, I, I'll watch the tape. But um, 
hey, uh, we trust that we're going we're to make those type of plays downfield and we'll make the next one there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was um, pretty nice throw, I guess. You didn't have a full platform on that or, or anything. Yeah, I, came, I went from him back to the dagger, back to him, um, which usually doesn't work out. But uh, it, well, I mean, next time maybe you can hit the flat for a first down. Every time about finding out about you can't find out about NFL quarterbacks until they actually play in real games. Do you feel like you found anything out about yourself today? Uh, I mean, I just it just gave me more confidence. I feel like I think I always had a good amount of confidence, but obviously to go out, do it, win, um, that just you know builds it a little bit more. Uh, but obviously, got to keep stacking. Got a lot to learn from. We've had far from a perfect game, um, and that's what we got to strive for. I guess Tim Will, every time you've played in the state before, you've gotten booed, I guess. <laughs> what, what, was the, what was it like? I guess the fans before, a couple of times they picked up on the video board and people were, were kind of going crazy. I know they showed your family in the crowd yeah, no. big time. What was that like from an emotional standpoint? I mean, just I got to focus on just the family part there. Like, I, have, I had 20 plus friends and family here to, to celebrate this moment with me, win or lose. I knew they were going to be there supporting me, and for it to kind of go down the way it did with them in the stands for me right after the game, reminiscent of you know college feelings of similar games and wins with, with my arm and dad in my arms. Um, I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, got so much love for so many people, and glad I got a good circle around me. Could you feel the support, I guess, from fans in the stands too? Yeah, 100 percent, 100. I mean. Try to tune out the, the the kids and everybody yelling your name and stuff behind the bench, but I mean, hey, you got to deal with the highs and lows of, of the game at this position. We, we we know we obviously want to win every game, but there's going to be bad games, there's going to be bad performances, and uh, I know that the people that are up on me now are probably going to be down on me at another time. So I mean, just got to keep a neutral headspace about it, uh, acknowledge it, acknowledge that it's really cool, um, and uh, just keep pushing forward. Well, then, touch down to Nick. Uh, I know you you come up being on the ground, but then you're kind of tumbling around a little bit. You, you break. <laughs> And then the Billy White Shoes thing with Nick. Too. I didn't. I didn't see if he had already done it because I knew he would, he'd been practicing it all week. But I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to miss it. So, um, yeah. No, it took me a little bit to get down there, but I'm glad I got got a little dancing. What was the Namaste? Is that what Namaste was? Yeah, it was just I don't know his thing that he was doing. I just figured I'd join. But yeah. What's the mindset going into Last the next one. going into next uh, Thursday's game? Uh, I mean, just taking it one day at a time. Uh, starting today, obviously with a shortened week. Uh, this is all about you know whoever recovers better. Uh, and whoever game plans better in the short amount of time. Um, so we're going to make sure that uh, we do what we can to, to be that team, um, and I'm going to do my job. Thank you, guys. Derek, for you guys today and seeing a rookie like Will Levis come in and do what he did, how much confidence did that just give the offense overall? Yeah, um, he was balling, huh? Um, yeah, he was playing out of his mind. Um, you know, it was it was it was good to see because um, he worked so hard, and I can tell he was uh, locked in all week. Um, you know, throughout the week through, through practice, and uh, we were just all excited um, to see it come together for him and the offense, and us being a fin finish drives and make some explosive plays. What was his command like in the huddle? Oh, I mean, he was calm, um, cool, and collected. Um, you know, he took charge when he needed to. Um, you know, vo was uh, uh, was was voicing um, you know what we needed to do better, and um, you know, echoing what the coaches were giving him, and, and um, he was saying it to us. So, he did a great job, and um, so glad that you know he had a, a great game today. What did you say to him maybe before if you didn't get a chance to talk to him before? What did you say after? Um, uh, during during the week, I just told him to play his game, let the game come to him. Um, you know, uh, even when wait so long to get this opportunity and to play at this level, let it all come natural and go play your game just like you were and at Kentucky and the same when you were in high school. Just go out there and be yourself. Are days like today what you were imagining when you were lobbying Hop to come here back in the summer? Definitely. Definitely, man. It felt it was, it was good to see him get out there and uh, go go crazy and, ha and have one of those games. I knew it was coming. Um, um, sooner or later, so. What does it do when they're, you guys are able to push the ball vertically down the field? Like, what does that do for you in the rushing attack? Um, well, well, Will was throwing it. I know you know teams are going to be on alert because he can he can throw it. You know he has a great ball. Um, I've always thought that ever since I seen him come here and, and, and throw the ball, and um, you know I think it'll open things up, and you know uh, a lot of guys um, be able to get opportunities, and you know excited for his opportunity as well. How much does team need to win this game to kind of change the conversation? You had a trade this weekend, quarterbacks, start quarterbacks out. This team's sitting at two and four. How 
Yeah, it felt great. You know, we back in the win column, and um, you know we just gotta uh, get back to work and, and keep it going. We got a quick turnaround. Um, it was a good team, um, in in Pittsburgh, and um, you know build, build all the positive, working on things we need to get better at. But uh, and enjoy this, and then focus on Pittsburgh tomorrow. You get back to level pretty quickly here in that short turnaround week. What would that, what would that mean and say about you guys? Um, you know, it's just um, positive. Uh, great to get in the win, co win column today and let that momentum carry over to, to Pittsburgh. So we can be a tough, tough place to play, and um, they got a good defense and they got guys on the offensive side that can um, make plays as well. But, you know, this is a, it's a great game to build confidence on to go in there and um, play our style of football and do, uh, do what we do best to go try to win. I actually saw your little Twitter post about points and – uh, about Atlanta, what seventeen point three and Pittsburgh seven, twenty six. I saw, I saw what you said. Yeah, it was cool. Um, seeing everybody, seeing everybody come out. Um, you know, wearing those jerseys and then seeing the guys who who wore them. Everybody being on the sideline, you just kind of got that feel. Um, Arden was playing a lot of old school music, so it was a good vibe in the locker room. And, you know, it just, you know, you just felt like uh, everything was going in the direction of us uh, playing away our style of football and going out there and getting a win. And, um, you know, it was a, a great day to get a win in those uniforms. What kind of old school music you have on? Oh, you had all, all, all types. Um, dang, uh, I think he had some Ronald Isley on. Uh, what's another one he had on? It was, it was so many. Yeah, but even the coaches, they were coming in vibing and, and laughing. They was talking about memories and all types of stuff. I was like, y'all feeling good, ain't it? So <laughs> everybody was happy today in the locker room. Some of the guys that uh, spoke about Malik Willis when he went out there. And oh, yeah, was, I definitely was going to say something about that. Well, what's your input in regards to that? Well, I was in the game, and um, we were – Going for us, so I'm like, who? What are they booing about? And I'm looking around, and then until I seen uh, uh, Malik go out and, and and Will come in, and I realized I'm like, they booing Malik. I mean, uh, he's a part of the team. Um, you know, he he was drafted here. Um, he's worked as as hard as he can to make it to this point, and would do anything he can to help you know this organization win. He's a great teammate. Um, you know, he works his tail off each and every day. Um, to be to be ready and to, to come in and make plays, and that's all he's trying to do. Um, I understand, you know, fans are frustrated, um, you know, when we lose and it's not going the way we all plan. But you know, we all frustrated. And nobody wants to win, you know, more than we do as players because we don't want out there and um, you know trying to do the best we can to showcase and go out there and, and win games and you know have the fans in it. And you know, it's like you know we're, we're all a family, so you know it just. It doesn't help, you know, being booed, you know, you know, when you're just trying to go in there and make a play. And I'm sure, you know, his, since the kid's been his dream to come play in the NFL and for his organization, I just feel like, you know, that ain't needed, you know, for somebody that's just coming in to, to, to help us win. And Malik's a great, a great kid and a, a great person. And, you know, he'll do anything to help this organization win. The feedback that we've been getting, though, from fans, though, is that, they weren't booing him necessarily, but booing the decision. That's what decision? Take because he got four out. yards on that on that play. That's, that's positive. I so think it's, it took Will out to take, to, to take Will out to put him in. Is, is kind of what the other side is saying. Yeah, I mean, I know. I mean, Will wasn't done. I mean, I think Coach put it out there. They both were going to play. So I think everybody should have been anticipating that. Um, you know, either way it goes. And, you know, and I feel like on that play, it was a positive play, and um, Malik got what he could out of that play. And I feel like it, I, I just don't feel like it was no need of booing. Now, we was getting whooped, and they were just going crazy on us. We weren't doing anything. Then I, I understand that. But it was – we were we were moving forward. Everything everything was positive. Can't they be upset at his previous play where he couldn't handle the snap and couldn't fall on it? I mean, everybody's entitled to how they want to feel. But, but but at the same time, and everything is going in a in a great way. I don't feel like there's there's no need of booing. I mean, I, I mean, uh, we 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 understand that they are they are frustrated, and you know we want to do everything we can to get this thing going the right way. But like I told, like but like I said before, I mean, Malik wants to win just as bad as anybody on this team and this organization and and the fan base as well. Derek, well, what's this week been like for you? I mean, we were talking to you the other day about the trading deadline, and everything. Kevin gets traded. 
trying to focus on this game. What's the, what was the week like in the locker room and for you personally? I mean, obviously, you know, you see all that stuff, people texting, and, you know, it's a lot going on, and he say, she say, but at the end of the day, I'm a grown man, and I got a job to do, and that's coming to work and, 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 and do my job. And that's all, what I'm always going to be focused um, on until I'm told, you know, something differently. You know, I got a child at home that I got to feed, and that's what my my main focus is: is coming here and do my job the best way I know can, I know I can, and helping this team win until something else happens. That's my main focus. Regarding, I can't. Re regarding those reports from yesterday, has Rand or someone in the front office told you they don't want to trade you? Is that true, or just kind of where do you stand on that? Um, we we've, I mean, I've I've talked to them. We have we had talks, and um, you know, feel like everything's going in a in a positive direction. Um, you know, I understand my position, and you know, the lifespan of it is uh, is 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 not too long. And I'm getting older; I ain't getting no younger. So, but at the end of the day, um, I know it's a business. I understand that. Like Coach said earlier this week, we know what we signed up for, and sometimes the business side is not what what you always want. But it's a, it's a business. So, but at the end of the day, um, I'm a Titan. I'm happy to be a Titan, and um, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help this organization um, continue to win and. Hopefully, uh, you know, keep going further and further, and um, do what we can to uh, possibly get a championship this year. You said they understood last year. Position, Derek, is your position? I, I'm guessing is that you would prefer to stay here. Is that yeah, I mean, I never said I wanted to leave. Um, you know, like I said, there's been a lot been going on, a lot been said. I've been firm on what I said. I'm, I'm here to work, and I never came out that I wanted to leave or go anywhere else. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.